component for the drum part is we want to make um, a hi hat sound. Um, so a hi hat sound, uh, you know, hitting a hitting a hitting a hat or something metal and it kind of ringing and resonating. Um, we just want to make a very crisp white noise type sound with uh, a bit of resonance. So let's load up an instrument rack um, and we'll use operator again and let's play some notes. So there we go, there's a nice sine wave. Let's turn this into some noise. Give it a filter, make it a high pass filter. High 24. A lot of resonance, and let's give it a bit of envelope. Got to go the opposite way here. It's all good. Let's add in a little bit of uh, FM modulation here. I'm just gonna. Oh, we use. No, we use a sine wave. See how that sounds. Actually, we need to send that that way. So we'll use uh, C and D for the uh, FM sounds. D as the white noise. Make it white noise looped. Get this fixed. That a bit of a envelope, take this. Let's make that a sine wave as well. Make sure the envelope on this is very short. Drive you mad, couldn't it? Let's um, let's just make some notes so we can work with some notes. Get rid of uh, half of these. So I've just put some notes in um, just so we can uh, kind of shape the sound. That we want. It's kind of hit and miss with this one. Um, I, I guess I'm trying to create a bit of a, a little bit of a ring with the white noise using these two oscillators here. And if, um, so D is fre currently fre uh, frequency modulating um, C, and they're both sine waves at the moment. That's what it sounds like without the filter. Let's put this as a, as a band pass. Put it up really high. Sounding alright. I like the high pass though. Let's keep it there. Put the 
simulate. I wonder what happened if we duplicate that, let's just call that hat. And if we use this, we'll call this hat too. Just um, had an idea of putting, um, like we're using with the snare, putting one of those corpus over it and see how that sounds. It gives a nice ring. We've got beam, string, membrane. Let's go plate. I think this hat needs We'll give this hat here Get rid of these oscillators, so we're just going to use one Let's make it so it uh, has a very Solid this for a sec Sounds pretty good. If we turn the LFO on, on the corpus. Solo this one again. Get the volume down. Maybe a little bit less uh, wet on the corpus. It's about finding the right level of this decay here. Quite like that. So let's quickly um, add in our snare and our kick just to see if they uh, they work with each other. To our instrument rack, Tom. So we got the kick and clear the snare. Try get midi clip down. Yep, I like where this is going. Um, one thing that we will need to do um, is send the velocity to the volume. Um, so we're doing that so that we can have notes which are, are quieter. We're going to have to play around with that. So let's go into the instrument. Um, so we're over on this tab, we're saying the velocity, which is how hard the note is actually hit, connected to the volume by how much 
100. So now we can have uh, different level notes. Excellent. Now uh, if we just quickly uh, give it a little bit of groove. Very electronic. Great, so that's um that's our hat. Um, we'll call this the, the noise. And we'll uh, no this one's the That's that's really the hat, isn't it? And that's the noise. And I think just for the macro here, let's just have it so we can change the uh, the tune of the corpus. So this is the tune of the um, the hit. And we'll map the decay as well to another one. And I reckon the LFO amount. So here's our LFO amount here. I will do an LFO amount and we'll do an LFO rate. Just so we could do some crazy shit if we, if we need to. But for now we'll just put, put those down to zero. Excellent. Um, hat. Oops. Hat trick. Sounds good. And colors. Nice colors. There we go. Patrick. The high hat. TomColson.com.